Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Rich, aka Major Monkey, and today we're going to be doing a mouse pad review. And the mouse pad that we're going to be reviewing is the girl from a company called Midori. It's their first mouse pad, and it is a control centered pad. Um, and we'll get more into that later on and where it falls in the spectrum of control pads. Um, but I've had it for about a week and a half now, and I feel like I, in that time I've been able to play a good variety of games and I've compared it with some other mouse pads that I personally have uh, tried a couple different mice on it and so with that we can have I feel like I have a good idea now of what my feelings are on the pad um, enough to make a review for it and so if you guys are new thank you so much for checking out the video and coming by the channel um, also if you are new the kind of the structure I go with these reviews are if it's a mouse I typically kind of go a quick rundown of the specs then we go into a shape comparison with other mice that you have or may have used and then lastly in uh, the third part I just my overall thoughts and opinions of the mouse for mouse pads the only part that really changes is that second part instead of doing shape comparisons because you know a, a 500 by 500 compared to another 500 by 500 pad uh, it's you know they're same size uh, you know so it's not really shape comparing um, but we will be comparing it to other pads that I personally have just to kind of give you an idea of if you have them or have used those pads in the past, it'll give you an idea and reference of what you can maybe expect if you choose to purchase the pad. Um, and then lastly, it's the same as my mouse reviews where it's just my thoughts and opinions, what I liked about it, what I didn't. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let's get straight into the video. All right, for the specs of this mouse pad, we're looking at a one size option, which is a 500 by 500 millimeter, and the thickness is four millimeters. They use their signature Starshine PU base, and I'll try and include a close up footage of this. I just really like how it has a very nice, cool shimmer to it, and it feels really, really solid. Um, it uses a subsurface stitching for the mouse pad, and like I said, it's a control pad and they use a high quality control fabric for the pad. Now, the design on the pad is UV printed. Um, and so with that, you don't really ever feel any sort of texture change or anything. Since it's UV printed, it just has one kind of smooth feeling across the board on the pad. And so now that we've gone over the specs of the pad, we'll now get into some comparisons to other pads to kind of help you give you a reference of what you can expect. Alrighty guys, so when comparing this mouse pad to others, I can only obviously use mouse pads that I have or at least have used in the past as comparisons. Um, so there's going to be plenty of mouse pads that I just haven't used and you know maybe you have and maybe that lines up more with this pad in particular. I just haven't used those so I can only go off of what I know and what I felt. Um, and so the mouse pads that I did compare this to, I'll, I'll give you a quick kind of rundown. Um, I, I compared it to the Jupiter Pro V2 from Lethal Gaming Gear. Also from LGG, I compared it to the Saturn Pro, um, things like the Artisan, Artisan Zero, um, Artisan Hien, and the Samurai Balanced Pad from Curacao. Um, the Curacao the is a balanced pad, so it's not necessarily a controlled pad. But it does have control characteristics it, with it being a balanced pad. And so I still wanted to try and just compare, just to see how it felt compared to this. And strictly talking just in terms of how fast the glide feels on the pad, not talking about texture or anything like that, but just strictly like how fast does this feel for a control pad. I would have to compare it mostly to, it would fall somewhere between the zero and the Hien from Artisan. For me personally, that's kind of where I would put it. When I first got it, I would I thought it would be more like, it'd be more like the Artisan Zero, maybe a little bit slower. Um, not because that's what they advertised or anything. That was just kind of my own assumptions. When I think of a control pad, I kind of put the Zero at this kind of middle point of, you know, not too quick, but also not too slow. And so I was just kind of, you know, assuming that it would be around there. And it, it kind of is, but it definitely, you can, if you put the two pads next to each other, this does have a quicker feel to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's as quick as the Hien at all. Um, when comparing those two, I mean, the, the texture of the pads are very different as well. But in terms of speed, the Hien does feel faster than the girl from Midori. 
Um, so that's kind of why I put it in the middle between the two. It's there, there might be better pads to compare it with, but um, just for my personal collection, that's the two pads I kind of pinned it in the middle between. So now that we've compared it to some mouse pads that I currently have, um, let's get into the final part now, which is just my overall thoughts and opinions using the mouse pad. So, like I said earlier, I've used this pad for about a week and a half now. And during that time, I've been playing games, which are kind of my three staple games that I play, just because I feel like it offers a huge variety in shooters. Um, I've used games like Valorant to test the mouse pad with, the Finals, and deadlock and i feel like with those three games i get a good idea of what this pad feels like in different scenarios you have valorant right which is a slower attack fps um and then you have the finals which is not slow or tactical you know at all uh it's much more chaotic the verticality is much more different than valorant you know a lot more tracking is involved with the finals and then lastly, with Deadlock, it's kind of a mix of both, right? So with Deadlock, you have your moments where it's slower um, and some moments of flicking. And then you have your more faster paced moments where it's getting more chaotic. Abilities are flying everywhere. The big group fights are happening and there's more tracking involved depending on who you're using in the game. And so with those three, I feel like I've had a good idea of it now. And for me personally, even though I, I was expecting to feel more like an artist in Zero... I've really, really enjoyed this pad. Even though I'm not insanely fond of faster pads, I think if I had to choose a preference in control pads along the spectrum, I would definitely lean more on the slower side of things. Um, that being said, though, it, it being faster has been not an issue for me at all. I, I really like the glide. I think the, the speed that the glide has mixed with how smooth the pad feels is phenomenal it's, it's a fantastic combo the yeah it's just the x and y you know whether you're going vertically or horizontally you don't feel any difference at all it feels just super smooth whether it's tracking whether it's flicking i've had no issues at all i never felt like the pad was too fast for me um to where like my tracks were a little not accurate enough or i wasn't able to flick quick enough in a game it just, it's felt extremely solid the whole way through. And yeah, I mean, I just, I can't express how much I've enjoyed how the pad feels. Um, and thankfully, because the the design of the pad is UV printed, you don't feel the, the you know, it's not elevated off the pad at all. It, it is caked within the pad. And so having an awesome design like this on a pad where it's not your typical, you know, waifu, you know, AI looking waifu on your pad. It, it's a beautiful portrait of a woman that is drawn. And, and they've even showed that. I know there's like people on Twitter talking about how, you know, this was just an AI generated image of a, of a girl. And they actually replied and provided proof that it was drawn through procreate. And this was actually a portrait of a real life woman you know, I, I just, I really commend that. And as someone who really loves that kind of black and white noir feel, I love this. And for some reason, this really reminds me a lot of, uh, like, if you guys are familiar with, like, manga, like, Ajunji Ito, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, but he, he's really known for his, like, horror manga. And although it's not exactly like that art style at all, it just kind of gives me that kind of vibe to it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed the pad. It, it feels super solid. Um, now, in terms of just some cons, and when I say cons, for me personally, what I'm about to be say, talking about is not really like these are things that really bugged me or I hated. It's just simply as a reviewer, I have to state these things that I've noticed that are imperfections of the pad, in my opinion. Um, and so with the subsurface stitching, it feels really solid. I noticed along the stitching, and I'll include some photos of that as well in the video, I've noticed a couple like white dots here on the side of the mouse pad. And there's even like a little kind of bump up here of the fabric. Um, again, are those deal breakers for me personally? No. If you're someone that wants an absolutely perfect pad, I, I don't know what mouse pad out there provides that, if I'm being completely honest. Um, 
yeah, it, it didn't bother, bother me a whole bunch, but I did want to include that just so you guys were aware that my copy did come like that. Um, but as, as a company who are releasing their first ever pad, at least for me personally, I kind of go into it expecting it not to be perfect because it's their first product that they're bringing out. And when, when it's your first product of anything, you know, there's going to be imperfections because with that first product, you're learning about the pad. You know, you, you learn what could have been better for the next iteration. You know what I mean? Um, so I kind of have a little bit of a grace when it comes to those sorts of things. And I think even with the small little imperfections of like that or with the base of the pad, if you've used things like Artisan Zero or just Artisan pads in general or like uh, Lethal Gaming Gears pads, when you put them on, you have to like peel them off just because of how much they stick to your, your desk. Um, with this pad, it actually doesn't stick very well by default. And I let it kind of sit for a while for like the past week so that you can see how it looks stock. Um, and I say that because they've actually provided online a, a really solid and easy solution for it, where if you just simply get like a damp cloth and you kind of just spread that around the base of the pad, it'll lock in the pad to any surface you have. I mean, it locks it in perfectly. I did that when I first got it. Um, and it, it solved the whole issue for me. That's why I mentioned, you know, for this past week, I just kind of let it dry out and go back to its like stock version, just so you could see that. Um, for me again, is that something that's a deal breaker? No. Would I prefer my pads just to stick? Sure, but you know, wetting the pad a little bit and then laying it down that's not a big deal for me personally. Um, so yeah, th those are two little caveats, two things that kind of, you know, are not, they're not great about the pad. You know, these little imperfections, the fact that it doesn't stick that super well by default, you know, those are things that people may see as like a negative. I think for it being their first ever mouse pad, I think they've, I think they've nailed it to be honest. I think they did a great job with it. The design is beautiful. The feel of it is phenomenal. You know, and if this is where they start, I can't wait to see what Midori does later on. Um, the, the stitching, everything, it feels extremely well made. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that maybe if you were on the fence of picking up this pad, maybe this has helped you out with your decision making. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me a ton, especially being a, you know, a smaller creator, very small creator. Um, those kind of things, I mean, really ramp up the channel for me. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. And check you guys in the next video. See ya.